Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Markage here with your outlook for November 17th, 2015. And for your Tuesday, we're going to have a big change from what we had yesterday. Such warm temperatures again yesterday to start the work week. And then today, we're going to have a high, pre high pressure that's going to be settling down into the northeast and setting up shop uh, over, uh, over to England here. This is going to actually create a backdoor cold front kind of effect here where uh, you have a... Uh, uh, cool rush of air that's going to come down here from the northeast so uh, that's going to allow temperatures to uh, struggle uh, to get back to near normal temperatures for this time of year we're going to be in the lower 50s in many locations and actually up here in the northeastern portions of our coverage area here northeast pa northern new jersey you'll be struggling to get to 50 uh, so it's going to be a lot cooler today from what it was yesterday some places were actually pushing 70 degrees here uh, and it was a pretty remarkable day for your Monday. But then uh, this high is going to retreat, end up um, in the uh, Gulf of Maine here. Uh, you can see that right here. Here's the center of high pressure. It's going to end up uh, right about here for Wednesday. This is going to allow for a southeasterly wind now. Uh, so the temperature is going to come up a little bit, going to be a little bit milder than uh, there was uh, than it is expected to be today. Um, but nothing too crazy. But we're going to have mostly cloudy conditions, uh, we think, with this uh <clears throat> mostly cloudy with an onshore flow here is what we're expecting for your Wednesday. Then we're going to be changing direction here with this cold front. There's a very slow moving cold front that is going to slow up when it comes through our area anyway. And it's going to approach the area here. The winds are going to pick up a little bit as uh, later on Wednesday, I think we're going to get, some, get into some gusty winds. You can see these isobars starting to increase here, and that's because of the pressure gradient between the uh, the area low pressure up here and high pressure off to the east. There's pretty strong high pressure here and pretty strong low pressure. So the gradient in between is going to create some pretty gusty winds, we think, for already uh, Wednesday afternoon. But here's your cold front here that's advancing e eastward. It has a pretty decent amount of rain with it, too. Uh, I think it's going to start raining here uh, as early as the pre-dawn hours here on Thursday. Kind of undecided whether it starts uh, Wednesday night, late Wednesday night. We're going to allow for that right now because there's some model differences between the GFS and the European model. Uh, but you will have some gusty winds uh, definitely on uh, Wednesday night yet. And then this front, uh, once it comes through here, here's a look at Thursday morning here on this particular model. Uh, has some rain moving through. Uh, maybe be some embedded thunderstorms, but it kind of hangs around a little bit. It's, you see it slows up. This is over in the next six hours here, and it doesn't really move too much here, and it kind of crawls out of here. So I uh, can expect some rain, maybe some embedded thunderstorms, locally heavy rainfall, uh, and it's kind of a tricky situation with how much rain you actually get from this, but we're going to say safe estimate right now, half inch to an inch across many areas here, maybe some localized high, higher amounts. Wind gusts could, could uh, be as high as 40 miles per hour, especially later Wednesday, Wednesday night in advance of this front, and that's because of that pressure gradient that I spoke of. Uh, but then this front will clear, and we're going to have high pressure move in behind it. Still, a, uh, it's going to be a cooler day here on Friday, but back to near normal for this time of year. I don't think it's going to be too terribly chilly yet. But then we get into the weekend here. We're going to have a rush of uh, cooler air come in here on both Saturday and Sunday, uh, where temperatures are going to be struggling to get out of the 40s. Actually, it probably won't get out of the 40s for uh, the majority of our coverage area here over the weekend. We're going to keep an eye on this little... Uh, bugger here over the weekend might have uh, some uh, some isolated uh, rain or maybe even a snow shower. That's possible here on uh, on Sunday. We'll examine that as we get a little bit closer, but especially up here in northeastern PA, I wouldn't be surprised to see a few flakes flying uh, as we get into Sunday. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But it does look like we're going to be pretty chilly here in the Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday time frame. Uh, so just in time for your weekend, kind of getting the mood for that holiday shopping because we're getting close to that time frame also. So it's a uh, kind of hard to go Christmas shopping when it's 70 degrees outside. It just you can't get in the mood for that. At least I can't. But it does look like this weekend will be a little bit more fitting with below normal temperatures expected as we head into the three-day weekend. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers, and that is your outlook for November 17th, 2015. Have a great Tuesday.